In episode four of The Sims 4 Natsuberi Town build series, we are finally finishing this thing. We have four generations of The Sims 4 Natsuberi Legacy Challenge left. We're gonna be finishing those off today, starting with the pink generation. We're gonna jump straight into this thing, but if you guys have been liking this build series, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I put out build challenges and Sims 4 related things all the time on this channel. So make sure you do that and then let's get into this. Here we are in the pink basement. I did describe the pink bio in the last episode, but if you missed it, I will put up a little graphic here explaining what the pink sim is all about. This sim seems really sweet. They love to write, they're reserved a little bit, maybe a little bit more quiet than the other generations. And it said in their bio that they have to master not only the writing skill, but also the wellness skill. So I kind of want to combine that idea downstairs and like, I'm going to surround a yoga area, I think, by bookshelves. So it's going to be like a light academia meets like spa wellness area. Sounds a little weird, but I think it's going to be cute. So we've got our bookshelves and then right in the middle, I want to stick a yoga mat, obviously a pink one, and we can put it right in the middle. And now I can like surround this area with candles, make the lighting all like zen and nice. I feel like this same would want this area to be their like peaceful, tranquility, relaxation space because apparently they like hate their job for majority of their life. It says they start off in I think like the business career and then they come to like realize their passion. So I'm picturing that that sim would come downstairs after work maybe and hang out down here, kind of get that relaxation back up. So that's what I want this space to be for this sim. We're gonna have to include a desk down here where the sim can come down to write and it says they like to write romance novels and it also says they have a well-maintained garden. So we're gonna be focusing a lot on like the flower aspect in here, very floral, very romantic vibes. These are something that I haven't really used yet and I've been dying to give them a go. They're from the new Decor to the Max kit, which has been kind of a theme throughout this whole build series. They're meant to be put on here as like panels. I'm just gonna go along and do the whole thing and see how it turns out. My corner looks a little weird, but I'm gonna cover that up with a hanging plant. Actually, and while I have the kits filter on, I'm gonna use one of these new dividers and I wanna separate that back area from the writing area. So maybe like over here, we could put some sectionals, make this an actual like seating area over here. And then on the other side, that can be where the yoga takes place. Another really random thing about this sim is that we need to have a postcard collection. At some point in their life, this sim has a midlife crisis where they quit their job and business, they're not happy with it, and they pursue their dreams in writing. And I want to assume that maybe we're at the point in this sim's life where they've already done that, they've moved on. So our postcard collection could be filled up from places we've traveled on like a book tour or something. So this is what our adorable pink basement is looking like. This might be my favorite basement so far. I've been having a lot of fun doing the basement. We've got our cluttered shelves above our little section area, tons of the My Wedding Stories decor. I did an ottoman over here from Dream Home Decorator. We've got some lighting over there from the Oasis Courtyard kit. And in the back here, this is what our area is looking like. I've got those hanging like plant lights back there, super relaxing, super zen. And I feel like we nailed everything that this sim entails in this basement. I really like this. So we're gonna go upstairs. Pink is one of my favorite colors to decorate with. So I was so excited about this. All right, time to do the living room slash kitchen area. So on the main floor, we're just gonna have open concept and a bathroom over to the left here. And what I'm thinking we're gonna do, I don't know if it's gonna look that great, but I wanna assume that our sim is gonna get rid of all the items that they may have accumulated from the business career. Like I know we get a pie chart that we can put out here. I think there's like a name card. Yeah, nameplate here. And I think we get like a trophy, like a sales associate trophy. And then we can put these things here from Dream Home Decorator and make it look like this sim is literally doing spring cleaning and getting rid of all of this like stuff from their past. Like I said, probably doesn't look the greatest, but for a little bit of like realism or whatever for this sim, let's imagine they're just getting rid of all this stuff. I think I want the room up here to look similar to how it does downstairs because I feel like we really hit the nail on the head down there, but I feel bad because I didn't leave too much for this area here. So we're gonna go same style. This sim is very like cutesy with their aesthetic. So we're gonna try and bring that upstairs too. We'll do our TV facing this way and then we kind of have like that figured out. We're gonna have a lot of plants up here just like downstairs. I need to make that garden, I can't forget. I think we'll actually be able to make a really cute kitchen with uh, country kitchen stuff because it has these pink swatches for a lot of it. They have like a full pink kitchen
kitchen set we can use. I love these cabinets. I love that they all have like different pieces. So I got our kitchen stuff figured out over here. I'm trying to find the heart shaped like cookies that we get. Cause this Sim, if we remember is romantic, but they're unflirty, which is so sad. This Sim is just so sweet. Oh yeah, these in like that pink swatch, little, little heart cookies. I also just made an adorable dining area over here. And this is what our kitchen slash living room is looking like. The pink house is so freaking cute. I added a violin down here for kids because our peach generation ends up playing an instrument. So I thought it was perfect and fitting if we added that in there for them. Before we move on to the upstairs, I do want to go and get some planters so we can make that perfect garden that we were talking about in the bio. So we'll get some planters. I think I'm just going to do some white ones. I added the same dining table outside here from The Sims 4 Paranormal and we're just going to place these along the back. That way they can maintain their garden out here and it's going to be a nice looking area. And I think I'm going to get something to put on the door, like a floral wreath from Seasons or something like this could be cute. Yeah, I like that. I can picture our Sim out here like watering the plants. Maybe they can have their dates out here and not that they're going to go well. We have a bathroom in here, which I'm sorry that I'm like kind of flying by these, but four houses in one video is a lot and the bathrooms are getting a little bit repetitive. So I have this dino marble flooring down here, which is really pretty in that like pinky color, pink robe. We've got our bathtub and our towels and some hanging plants to pull it all together. And I think we can finally go upstairs. We're going to do the bedroom and we're going to introduce our peach generation. So we're going to have our smaller kids room in the back, our main bedroom right here. Let's start with this one. I feel like our Sim here would like try and have their bedroom organized, but like it would just be a chaotic mess with like books everywhere that we've read. We just haven't brought downstairs yet. I want to do like a whole shelving unit, I think in this back corner. And I'm probably going to use shelving units from Dream Home Decorator. We're going to do the pink swatches and I'm going to line the bookshelf with these. And in there we could do debug books. Like I like when they have them all stacked up. Let me show you what I mean. So in debug, you can find these like books stacked. Stacks. They're like on display and I feel like they look really cool. So in here, first of all, we need some lighting, but I want to put those in there and each one can have a different type of book. We could do our hanging plant light over here again. And yeah, let's find something that I think this sim would like. The pink knitting books maybe are cute. I'm looking for books that are basically just like aesthetically pleasing. I'm not really concerned about the topic unless I can find some like romance novels, but I feel like these just fit. Oh, we can do some shirts like this. I can see our sim that we made for this generation wearing this. So there's Here's our bookshelf clutter. I also found this pink heart box over here, which I thought was kind of cute. Maybe this with hearts we could put above the bed. I used Dream Home Decorator over here with the same kind of vibe as I had with the bookshelves. We've got those shelves up there with our closet hanging down, another bookshelf, book clutter. I feel like I need something for right here though. So I'm gonna go and find one more dresser or something that I can put there. Ooh, maybe this one here from Cottage Living. I like that one. We'll do this little vanity, fit that right underneath our flowers here. Even like these pink candles I think are really nice. Okay. So this is what our pink bedroom ended up looking like. I feel like the pink is maybe my favorite. I don't know between the pink and the rose so far. Those are my two faves. We're going to move on. We have one more bedroom to do, which is generation seven, the peach generation. Just kidding. It's generation eight. I lost track. <laughs> generation eight, the peach generation. Your parents always taught you to follow your dreams. You've always wanted to be a detective. You've always wanted to be a comedian. Well, dang it. You can do both. Detective by day, comedian by day by night, you can do anything you set your mind to. Traits, we are a foodie, we're a lazy goofball. Our aspiration is joke star, our career is detective, and the rules for this generation, we must marry a coworker, play an instrument, master gourmet cooking and comedy skills, master the detective career, and must live in a different world other than the one they were raised. Dang it. These moving situations and these moving rules are really getting to me here. Peach, I find sometimes can be a little tricky for me because I never find just the perfect color. You know what I mean? It's either pink or orange. I can never get that peachy color right. That bed is pretty peachy, I feel. Since we're a joke star, I do want to get those neon lights. I think that one could kind of match. See, it's a little orangey, but I feel like as long as I bring in the pink and the orange and combine those two, then we're going to still get that overall peachy color. Like that is kind of peachy, like kind of rose gold. Maybe I can pull it together with some pink blinds and then some sort of decor on my wall here. We do already have that instrument downstairs, but I can put another violin in here, especially since we have the option for kids. They can get a head start when they're a child working away on their violin skill and that'll transfer over as an adult. So this, this kid is going to be busy and prepared. I also want to get the goofy vibe in here for this child. So I'm thinking maybe like the penguin TV could work. We'll have like funny little toy 
toys, at least like toys I think are funny. Like, I don't know, this duck. <laughs> One time on stream, I did a massive duck build and I can't get it out of my head every time I see this. Okay, so I filled all this up with some funny little toys. We've got that there, which is our comedy book, toy box for something for the kid to do. And this is what our peach bedroom ended up looking like. I think it's cute, I like it. We are ready to move on to the next generation, the peach townhouse. The peach generation reminds me a little bit like the plum generation in the way that they're very busy. They've got a lot of interest, a lot to do. So this house is gonna reflect that. For the basement, I think what we're gonna do is build a stage. This is gonna have flashbacks for me to the Sims 4 reality house. <laughs> we'll maybe bring a wall forward a little bit, one on each side. And this is gonna sort of be like a lounge. We'll bring the comedy lights in here. I'll do like one on each side. So something like that, we can put curtains in the background or something. And now I need to find some chairs, only a few. Like I'm not gonna have this to be like a full comedy club kind of thing. It's just for fun. Like if we had guests over or friends over or something, it would just be a fun little thing that everyone could participate in. This would be so fun. Imagine having a few drinks with your friends and they just have this like comedy thing in the basement and you just do like the most ridiculous stand up. That sounds so fun to me. I wanna put a little bar down here or even karaoke. Like imagine, oh, that'd be such a good time. Ooh, Dine Out I think actually has some peachy colored curtains that we could put in the back here. And I did download these little pictures here. These were from Holy Schmobow. So I'm gonna put these in the basement. They just were like kind of goofy and had the peach color going on. So we're gonna put these downstairs, maybe a couple of them. And I feel like it brings together the gourmet cooking aspect, but with the cat and the pizza, I mean, it just, it just fits. <laughs> in this back area, I'm just making a display for our guitars as well. We play an instrument. We don't have to max it out. So we can do just a, an area back here, like displaying some music. And for our detective career, I'm gonna maybe put like a desk down here. We could do research. This basement is just one big area of activities. <laughs> I really liked how that divider looked in the pink basement. So I actually put this here. This is from City Living. It's in a weird spot. So I feel like a lot of people forget about it, but it's under the ceiling decor section and they have different wall heights. They're really cool looking. So I'm just gonna use that little curtain there as like a divider. And this is what our basement is looking like. We've got again, this here, which I believe it comes with the detective career. Yeah, it's one of the rewards unlocked at level eight. Congratulations, here's a filing cabinet. And yeah, this is what our peach basement is looking like. This looks like a good time. This is really cool. I also added some TVs in the background just in case we wanted a little background magic. <laughs> so we're done down here, but before we go upstairs, I forgot we have to move again. Now we live in Mount Kamarebi, which I'm kind of glad I do prefer the greenery, I think, as opposed to the background of Oasis Springs. Let's continue on with our peach generation. We're gonna do with the living room and kitchen. And one thing that we are gonna have to do for this generation is make a really nice kitchen because they have to master the gourmet cooking skill. So we're gonna make a pretty big kitchen, probably bigger than the other ones that we've been doing. So we'll do kitchen area in the back and then over here is going to be our living room. I think I might actually separate part of this with a half wall. So I'm gonna bring a half wall from here over a little bit. I'm gonna use these counters here. They have a little bit of like a peachy beige vibe from a dream home decorator. Ooh, I like that. That's totally got the peachy color. We have a matching one here from Dream Home Decorator as well. We'll do sink here and I want to do like a big shelving unit above with tons of pantry storage. Also bringing in a little bit of contrast to those light walls that we've got going on. And then here I kind of wanted to have a little bit of separation. Maybe the guests or the rest of the family can sit here and chat with our peach sim while they're cooking but they're not going to be getting in the way. I personally really love to cook but anyone steps foot in my kitchen while I'm doing my thing I am like mm -mm, you gotta go. You gotta get out of here. As someone Someone who was raised in an Italian family growing up, if someone was in the kitchen and they're focused doing their thing, unless you're gonna be helpful, you stay out. So this is gonna be where the family will stay and watch our gourmet sim do their work, work their magic. Ooh, these actually look pretty good with that peachy swatch too. We can use these My Wedding Stories curtains. And then our fridge will have to be squished over on this side. And we're definitely gonna have to put our bathroom upstairs. So with all the clutter, this is what our kitchen is looking like. And I avoided downloading any gallery art off the gallery for majority of this series, but I'm kind of running low on options here that I haven't already used in the colors that I want. So I just leaned those against the wall up there. We've got all our clutter and stuff on the shelves from like Debug and the Country Kitchen Kit. We have our cookbooks on the side as well as another little piece of art that I found. And I did get carried away and I did the living room here as well. We've got our sectional over here. I did our green toy box for our green sim and just a closet at the front front door where you could hang your clothes. The one thing I didn't really manage to get 
get in here is the dining table. So I think that's what I'm gonna do for our outdoor area. We'll do just like a big table. Maybe we can do the My Wedding Stories one because I know that one's pretty big. Like that one there and we could do our cute chairs. Like maybe just something like this outside. So this is gonna be our layout for the upstairs. We're gonna have our peach room over here. We're gonna have our green room and our bathroom. And I wanna put some of the rewards for the detective career in here. You actually apparently get like a lot of them. I looked it up and I saw like literally every get to work police item is like an unlockable item in this career. So for our peach bed, I know there's one from Cats and Dogs that has like a pretty peachy swatch. Oh yeah, this one. Okay, we're gonna use that. I'm gonna use those same peachy colored curtains that we had downstairs in the kitchen. The lighting that we chose for in here is giving me like police questioning vibes. So I mean, I guess that kind of works out. We'll do dresser on this side. And I think over here, we're gonna have to lighten it up a little bit, but that's where I can put my police stuff, my detective career things. But the problem with that is a lot of them are like prison items. <laughs> like these unlockable items that you get are literally like jail cells and like this is an unlockable item. Maybe in my basement I should have made a prison. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> like you get this. I just don't really see our sim like decorating their house with that stuff. Like we can get away with the fan maybe in here without it looking too weird. I'm gonna replace the computer that I had downstairs with this detective career one and I put a wanted poster thing above. Security camera. Oh, we can put that outside. These aren't that bad either. Before we had those get together like shoebox decor kind of things like the boxes. This is what I would use instead. So I mean that kind of works there I guess. And this lamp here is also an unlockable item. So this is our peach bedroom. I downloaded some art off the gallery again from Holy Schmo Wow. It's cozy. I wish there was a little bit more in here that I could put that would have looked good for the detective stuff but I also added a laundry hamper in this room so I did as well a little laundry area in the hallway. I added these paintings here which I think look so cute. We have to do our bathroom over in the corner and then we can move on to our green generation. This thing here from The Sims 4 Parenthood ended up being like the best color for peachy stuff. So this is what our bathroom ended up looking like. Again, nothing special. We got more exciting things to move on to like the green generation. So generation nine, we are so close. You were caught hacking by a major tech company that then offered you a position in their firm. You know, Penelope Garcia from Criminal Minds, that's you. I actually have no idea who that is. You're dedicated to your work, but that doesn't stop you from going out and having a good time. You're the kind of person that will be at a party at 3 a.m. and then work at 6 a.m. Do not recommend. I have been that person, been there, done that. We'll never go back. Great, so squeamish, geek, cheerful. We are a computer whiz for our aspiration. Our career is tech guru and the rules for this challenge, we must master mixology, video gaming, and programming skills. Master the tech guru career and complete the computer whiz aspiration must accept every invitation to parties and outings with your friends and have at least five good friends and five enemies. I get phone calls through my sims every five minutes so that's a lot. So in here we're gonna go in with the neon lights. It's going to be sort of similar to which one was it where we did like a nightclub vibe? I think plum but we're gonna do it in a tech way. <laughs> Definitely need a desk over here if we're gonna be hacking the freaking company we're working for. We gotta start early. We're totally gonna have that discovery university like green gaming chair and I feel like this thing would enjoy having a lot of posters on the wall with like different interests so I'm gonna put some on the door we could do like the sim poster there's actually a few we could put up like this one can work okay I <laughs> went into live mode and I changed the lighting in here to green for like the neon lights that I put along the bottom as if they were like those neon light strips that people have that I have maybe we'll tone it down a little bit on the green lighting when we get into the other house but this sim really loves green so let's move on from our peach generation we are going over to the green gen I feel like this one's gonna be a lot of fun this sim is a little wild we're gonna do tons of neon lighting very extra I feel like this whole thing down here is gonna be an open concept bedroom like a basement bedroom that they never want to leave <laughs> so we'll do a green bed I think I'm gonna push the bed all the way over to the corner here that way I can leave tons of space for like a computer setup over here which we're gonna make very prominent for this entire build here we'll grab this desk I want to do like monitor mounts from get to work you unlock this at level nine of the tech guru career, which is perfect. That's our job. But then what I like to do is go and get the monitor from get to work, which is supposed to be a TV, but I always put it in my computer setup. So we'll put one there. I'll move this out a little bit and we can put another one like right here. And then in the background, I know there's this light and I think it's meant to be a kid's light, but I think it could look kind of cool. This one, I'm going to grab this light in yellow and I think I'm going to put a few of them right behind my computer setup. For green neon lights, we've also got these, which I can put back here. We can do this green neon 
and Mir here from Get Famous. This is a lot of green already. This sim is not messing around. I feel like some of the generations have like strayed a little bit from their color of their generation. Not the green sim. Green sim very much likes to stay here. I'm sort of getting like bachelor pad vibes. I don't know what the relationship status of the green sim is like, but it's almost giving bachelor pad. We're gonna have a lot of friends, some enemies. We're always going out. I could see this sim maybe meeting their love interest like out on one of their outings at a bar or something or the geek convention in San Machuno. So this is what we got for our green generation. I did some clutter on the floor on the bed. Those posters from our childhood bedroom that we've still got up. We're gonna have this light over here, our green lighting. This is also from the tech guru career. It's like an unlockable hard drive. Of course, our video game thing, which is actually really cool to have in your bedroom. And of course, our dresser over to this side with this clock, which is also unlocked in the tech guru career. All right, let's go upstairs. I did find this couch, which I think is perfect, but it won't fit. But this also unlocks in the tech guru career, which I find a little bit funny. This is one of the smaller townhouses. So we might have a hard time fitting everything here, but something tells me this sim is gonna be spending a lot of their time downstairs anyway. We're gonna go all out with these green counters from base game. I think I'm gonna have to like wrap it around this way somehow. I have my bathroom right here, which is just a small one, three tiles so that the upstairs will be dedicated entirely to our next generation. Maybe this sim can have a mini fridge. The green swatches are kind of like all over the place. So I'm just gonna do a white fridge here. Tabletop oven, I think from Dream Home Decorator. Then we can have our sink and everything. Our essentials are good. I want graffiti on the wall. I feel like this generation would be really fun to play. We're gonna do more monitors and I need some chairs that are gonna look kind of like that couch. Oh my gosh, let's use these. They do match my counters. I feel like in terms of each townhouse matching their intended like generation, this one is fitting the bill perfectly. I can totally picture this sim coming home at all hours of the night, showering quick and getting ready and going back out again. And then for our bathroom, even though it's simple, I did try to add some clutter in here, bringing in the yellow, which I thought looked kind of nice with the green. So we've got some soap, some towels up there, a robe from Discover University. And the only thing I'm missing here that I want to put before we go upstairs is a bar because we need to master the mixology skills. So outside that can be our outdoor item. We're gonna get a matching green bar to those like counters we used from base game. Like this one here will match our green chairs with it. Maybe this would be the spot that you would like pre-drink at and like play video games at and then go out to the bar after. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep it pretty basic back here. Pretty simple, just the bar straight to the point. And with that, we are ready to move on to our final generation, which is the blue generation. So up we go for our blue generation. I feel like the blue generation and the green generation couldn't be more opposite. <laughs> Um, but Blue Generation reads, you have the perfect life. White picket fence, loving spouse, beautiful children. But why do you still want more? You have a one-time secret affair and will regret it for the rest of your life. Tea. Afterward, you pour your soul into raising your children and fixing your marriage. You never admit the affair to anyone and dedicate your life to being the perfect parent. Oh my gosh. Great. So we're gloomy, perfectionist, family oriented. We are a super parent as our career is critic. Our rules, we must adopt at least one child, master the photography, cooking, and parenting skills, master the critic career, and complete the super parent aspiration, must marry your high school sweetheart and stay with them until you die, and have a one-time secret affair. Okay, a lot to unpack there. They did a really good job writing this. I must say, this sounds like so much fun to play. I'm having so much fun building with it. If I can have a four-part series and still have fun building, this is a really great, well-rounded legacy challenge, obviously. So this is going to be a very neat put together childhood sim room. I'm picturing bunk beds for some reason, but I don't want to put more than one kid up here. That one looks cute there from Dream Home Decorator. My wallpaper is from Fitness Stuff, which I quite like that deep blue. We can do a computer area down below. So it says we have the perfect life. So I'm assuming the tech guru career probably does pretty well for our parent sim. So we're going to have a lot of money for our, our blue generation. I want this to be a kids room, but I want it to look like more mature. Like we're going to have a toy box, but there's going to be no toys on the floor. Very clean. Like we can just put one in the corner here. I kind of want to put a couch in here. I feel like if our parent sim is having people over a lot, maybe the child also has friends over often. So I'm going to do a sectional in the back here. Some hanging plants over the window. The decor for the blue house is going to be very like traditional, like parent that has their entire life together. Shops at like the expensive furniture stores, you know? So I'm kind of trying to reflect that in 
this kid's room at least a little bit. We're gonna put these up from Tiny Living. I feel like these are gonna look cute. This sim will take pride in presenting a very clean and well put together persona, even though they've got a dirty secret. So this is what the childhood bedroom for the blue generation is looking like. We've got our pictures on the wall. Again, our little sectionals over to the side. And I quite like this. I can't believe we're moving on to the final one. All right, moving on to our final generation, the blue gen. So this sim has to master three different skills. We've got photography, cooking, and parenting. The parenting one, I feel kind of weird decorating because that's gonna come along with like all the kids' toys and the kid interactions. Photography though, we could make a photography area in the back. Maybe this is like a part-time job or a side career that they like to make money with. So we can do a small area in the back. We'll do like Moschino stuff, the whole setup. You know, like summer holiday in The Sims 4, she's like a townie in base game. That's who I am picturing is living here. <laughs> we'll get our lighting, all of this stuff. I feel like making photography rooms is so easy and they kind of all look similar because we really only have like Moschino stuff to put in here, but we're gonna make it work. And then the area beside, I think over here, I'm gonna have like a family area, similar to the gray generation, how we had that movie theater, but this is gonna be more of like a play area instead. Like kids can come down here and this is gonna be their own secluded area from the rest of the house where honestly the mess can kind of be contained. We can do a bookshelf down here. It's just gonna be like a cozy family basement. So this is what we've got for the blue generation basement. I've got our photo room over here. We also have our kids play area, which I've got some toys down here, some rugs, making it nice and cozy down here for them, the dollhouse, which I sized down, and we are ready to move upstairs. So upstairs, our style is going to be basically the epitome of The Sims 4 Parenthood meets The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. I feel like you can kind of tell by the color scheme and the curtains that I've already placed. So we're gonna use this nice big fireplace here. I'm gonna have big emphasis on the cozy family room areas. And then in the back, I do wanna use Parenthood like counters and stuff. Like these ones I think could work in here. I am limited a little bit on my kitchen space. So that's gonna be right there, right next to the stairs. I'm gonna have to do my counters leaning around this way. And I think I'm gonna use these up top, but only up until there. The Sims 4 Parenthood also has really cute kitchen clutter, like these plates we can put up there. I think one of them actually looks like it's been decorated by a kid. Oh, a few of them are. Oh, cute. Okay, we can put these up there too. This Sim is stylish. She's trendy. She's She gets home decor magazines delivered to the house. She enjoys going for brunch and leaving reviews on the websites. That's literally their job, isn't it? Oh yeah, we're a critic career. Okay. <laughs> out here, I also made like a picture perfect little area outside an outdoor dining area with a barbecue. Oh my God, someone's been cooking on here. I downloaded these really pretty pictures off the gallery. Again, holy schmo wow. And what I did is I used those paranormal frames that I've been obsessed with lately. And I just put those around this big picture so that it looks like that's the frame. We've added some more decor. I've got all of my clutter that we're doing for this area. And this is what it has turned out like. I don't know much about the next generation, so I haven't really included anything for them here. But upstairs, we're gonna have to come up with just a different color that we wanna work with. I wanted to do a color that I haven't done yet in this not so berry town here. So I think what we're gonna be doing is white. There is a not so berry too. I haven't really looked into it ever, but I know there's another one with like 10 more generations. So we're bringing the same style into our bedroom up here. Very summer holiday, rustic, maybe a little bit cats and dogs. I might go with a white bed and then use blue decor for the rest of it. Like blue lamps. We'll get more blue pictures for the wall. This might work from Vintage Glamour. This mirror also from Vintage Glamour over there. Oh, this shelf is perfect. This looks like growing up, I didn't have a lot of money, but my friends did. This looks like their parents like houses that I always was jealous of and wanted growing up. Cats and dogs dresser over here. And yeah, I'm gonna have to find some nice blue like wall decor there. So this is what our bedroom looks like for the blue generation. We got all those blue accents in here, nice cozy vibes. And I really like the pictures that we found for over here. I feel like they fit perfectly with that like blue color of clutter. We've got a touch of purple with that plant there. And I feel like this looks really nice. We are ready to move on. We're gonna go do the white bedroom. I did do the bathroom over here and the hallway again with like another picture from the same set that I downloaded, some blue accents in there. And now we can do the final little bedroom in our whole series, the white bedroom, which we know nothing about other than that they're very loved. So we're gonna do this bed here from kids room stuff. Big cat teddy bear in here. There's not a whole lot of space in here, but we're gonna give them as much as we can in the small space that we do have. Ooh, these like white butterflies could look really nice, like right here above the bed. I hung some lights up top there and this is what our white bedroom is 
looking like the final bedroom of our not so berry town build series i hope you guys enjoyed this this was so much fun for me to do the feedback from this series was really great so i'm so happy that you guys enjoyed it and if you did enjoy it make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already because i do series like this all the time on this channel and this will finally be available on the gallery under city macarada if you do want to download it that's all i got for you guys i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.